Hey, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another reaction video with your boy, Money Commando. Today, we got the creepiest guy on YouTube with this guy named Cece. Um, I want to see what he's talking about. I'll be watching his channel from time to time when I'm not doing anything. And this guy's actually very funny. So let's see what he's going to talk about. Man, it's CZ. Back with another video. Okay. Let's get into it. So today I'm going to make a video on someone that I've actually made a video on before. A few months ago, I dropped a video called This Channel Supports Pedophiles. And now what that the? I think of it, I hope some people didn't get the wrong idea by that title. But the guy that I'm going to talk to y'all about today literally supports pedophiles. Because Whoa. he's a pedophile himself. Whoa. Basically, his YouTube channel is a safe space for sexual offenders to like vent and talk to, I guess. And when I tell you his YouTube channel is fucking insane like just take a look at this catalog sex offenders welcome three main types of sex offender bullying sex offender goes live this dude is weird bro who is this guy and on top of that he got gray hair on top of his head Okay, groomer, the new political bullshit. Like, you see what I'm saying? It's like he's being Whoa. smart about it almost. Like, like, motherfucker, you're the one in public jerking off. And you expect me to feel bad for you? Fuck out of here. But today, I want to show y'all a video he dropped. Never tell your girlfriend you're a sex offender. And that title alone Whoa. is like throwing shit in a ceiling fan. So let's see what he possibly has to say. Never tell your girlfriend you're a sex offender. <laughs> what is wrong with this nigga? And he's smiling about this shit. This ain't nothing to smile about. This is some serious stuff. Let's talk about it. Let's really talk about it. What you about to say? So yeah, guys, this is him. His laugh Hell gives no. me chills. Like, what's so funny? Never tell your girlfriend you're a sex offender. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird, bro. He acts like being a sex offender is on the same level of like stealing a candy bar. Number one. When you meet a lady and you and the lady get to know each other and you're starting to hit it off and you're starting oh, yeah, to have yeah, things bro. in common and you're realizing that, hey, this person is a lot of fun. She's thinking the same thing you're thinking. This guy is a lot of fun. When you're a registered sex offender, Crazy, I feel like that's the first thing you should tell someone. Even before the first date and all of that, it's like having AIDS. Like, I don't care how good we bond. You could be my soulmate. But if you have AIDS, it's over with. It's done for. No questions asked. <laughs> that should be the same type of energy you're giving. Because right. I'm pretty sure nine times out of ten, there's no chick that's wanting to be with a sexual offender. And if she has looked you up on Google, she is not affected by what came up. In other words, she don't care. <laughs> this nigga, like, what is actually wrong with this guy? Like, let's, let's seriously sit down and figure out why does he have a YouTube, first of all? Second of all, who gave his ass a camera? Because I want to beat your ass now. That's weird, bro. You hear what this nigga talking about? <laughs> Let me find out there's some women out there that are giving it up to some sex offenders. Let Weird, me find out bro. there's a sex offender getting more ass than me. And I may have stand corrected because I just said nine times out of ten, <laughs> a woman doesn't want to be with a sex offender. But the way he's making it sound like y'all women are giving it up. Y'all got to hold an L for this one. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. You start dating someone. The first or second date, you feel like, hey, I like her. After two dates, you decide to tell her, I'm going to do the right thing. No I'm gonna way, bro. Tell her about my past. <laughs> Apparently, no. doing the right thing is telling her that you were rubbing your balls on someone at Walmart. And he said after the <laughs> second or third date. And boys, we all know we smashing on the second date. So what he's saying is, while you're hitting it missionary, you have to look her in the eyes and wow. say, "I'm a sex offender." What, what do you think's gonna happen? She's gonna scream and tell you to get the fuck out of her house. As soon as you tell her, she's going to be put off. Oh, I wonder why. I couldn't have guessed it. He's going to be left with a terrible feeling. And the feeling is I ain't going to lie. This shit not funny. This shit really weird, bro. You're old as hell. Old as hell. And he's saying this weird ass shit. He got to be lost. studied or stopped, bro. Not what is wrong with him? You're a sex offender, but the fact What's that... What's seriously wrong with this nigga, bro? She was kind of just left out there hanging. 
She don't know where to do, what to do with that. No, yeah, because I don't it's hear not that, your bro. fault you're the sex offender. It's her fault for not understanding and not being in that position before. That's what I hate about this dude. It's like that little crybaby victim mentality. I'm not going to walk up to Mike Tyson and slap him in the face because I know the consequences. You did something so bad that you have Crazy, to be registered bro. on the sex offenders list. Then fuck how you feel. In my opinion, you shouldn't even know what love feels like. Right. The fact that you're sitting over here trying to hide the fact you're a sex offender is truly the lamest shit that I've ever seen. Telling a person you're a sex offender too early is a bad thing. If the fuck you mean it's a bad thing. No matter if you tell them in the no, beginning. No, I mean if you I mean if you tell them at all it's a bad thing. What's wrong with what is wrong with the this end nigga, of the relationship? Bro? They still wouldn't want to be right. with you. I wouldn't want to be with no weird ass nigga like that if I was a female. If you do what I did the second time Hell and no. wait a few weeks until the person can get to know you a little bit. Why we get like why how is he getting away with this shit? Like I don't want to hear you talk about this, bro. I thought, hey, I'll just wait a little yeah, while no. and I'll tell her. Fuck no. She, you should and have been told her and about cut that 90 shit off. days. I decided Fuck to tell that. her. 90 days. Oh yeah, he definitely smashed. Like just imagine being that woman. Like you get attached to this guy and then boom, he hits you with a nuke bomb. Fuck Crazy. future, fuck all of that. This dude is the real city boy. Like god damn, this is some real heartless shit. Every time I saw her after that, she was crying. <laughs> Every time I tried to talk to her, she was crying. <laughs> I want to hear that, bro. Me, I met the perfect guy and you tell me something like this. See what I mean? Like, damn, I feel bad for her, bro. God. This is why pedophiles don't deserve love, bro. Right. This is not only affecting him, but it's affecting her. But basically, the rest of the video is him explaining how you should wait to tell her you're a pedophile. This is That's just the weird. creepiest well, guy on YouTube. Right. Like, how is he, like, why would he t promote that type of shit? This is the next R. Kelly, bro. Why is he not in jail? And I'm not going to lie. I feel a lot the more fuck? grateful after watching that video because there are motherfuckers out there that are going through that. But yeah, man, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Y'all know the deal. If you like the video, hit the like, comment, and subscribe, baby. CZ 2024. See you in the next one. Peace. I ain't going to lie, CZ. That was a good video. But for real, though, somebody need to beat it. Somebody need to get his channel taken down or he need to stop that shit. Stop promoting that bullshit, bro. That shit weird. It's weird. It's actually weird. All these poor girls and all these poor guys gotta watch him promote that? Hell no, nah, bro. Get his ass out. Get his ass gone, bro. Get his ass out of here. But y'all boys like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all put your thoughts in the comments how y'all feel about that guy. But get his ass out of here. I'm gonna see y'all in the next reaction video. You know, no, bro.